It's Monday morning and I am having the worst Monday you can possibly imagine. I'm running hopelessly late. Everything that can go wrong has gone wrong and I've jumped in this combi and trying to rush to work and I've realized I have like no fuel in it. I was supposed to be at work about 20 minutes ago. It's been phone call after phone call and issue after issue I've had to deal with so now I'm running terribly late and I still need to stop for fuel. The problem with juggling too many balls is that inevitably you will drop some and that is exactly what's happened to me. So I'm like mega late and I'm traveling today and I think I've packed everything. I have my credit card with me, I think that's what's important. Anything I've forgotten, I will just have to procure on the other side. So I'm heading into town quickly to drop the combi off. It's just been such a chaotic morning. On top of everything, the Merc and the stupid battery, we got that jump started. I had to borrow some jumper cables for that. I'm running the combi into town to drop it off and then I've got to take Andre back. I'll first drop him off and get another car and drive myself to the airport. So the next hour and a bit is literally just gonna be driving backwards and forwards. And it's like super foggy in town. Normally from Duval Drive here, you have crystal clear views of the city and Robin Island and now I can barely see the city. But it's like sunny and warm in Steenburg. Just gotta love Cape Town. Okay, combi successfully delivered. Well, I was about to say, like, are we gonna refer to this as my Merc or your Merc? Yeah, and should I should I put the brakes on registering in my name and we should go straight into your name? So the combi was real interesting. I've driven not like... As, not as good as you thought it was. No, like I've driven not three of the, the the vans. I yeah. drove the Caravelle in January, then I had that H1 yeah. for a weekend and now I've had the combi for a weekend. How's this different from the Caravelle? It started as like 300 grand cheaper. <laughs> yeah, right. Roger that. So there's, there's okay. that. Um, it's got the same 2 litre DSG setup. Um, it's a diesel engine, two litre, with the, the DSG box. Okay. So it, it drives the same as a Caravelle, not more powerful, not less powerful. But inside, what they've basically done is they've just stripped out all the cool stuff. So you don't get the leather seats, you get the cloth seats. You don't get the seven or nine inch sat nav thing, you just get the small basic radio. Nokia screen. Yeah, like a, like a Nokia 3310 screen, right? Um, no, look, I mean, all the, all the VWs have that thing where you move your finger closer and yeah. stuff happens. So it's got that in it. And actually, it's it's cool on the long, on the long road, but it, you know, sits at 120, 140, no problem. But the problem is when you come and try and drive that thing in town, and you're trying to park it. And of course, the Caravelle's got those, that seat arrangement at the back. Yes. So this Car Caravelle, the middle row is actually two seats that swing around, and the Combi just has like a bench row. What do they call it? Star Trek seats or something. Star Trek seats. <laughs> this is the third time in two days and the second time today that I've driven to the airport. This time, this time I get to get on a plane. I drove you on this little Peugeot 208 GT line. What a funky little hatch. Not massive power, but sufficient. More than sufficient. Ton of fun. Handles quite well. Got a pretty cool sporty feel to it. I'm gonna leave it at the airport tonight, I'll pick it up when I get back tomorrow. Give it a better drive during the week. Right, so I made it to the hotel, staying at the Balalaika. Um, Thought I'd try it out. I normally stay at the Garden Court, Santon City, which is like right outside Santon City. Uh, the Bella Lake is about 500 meters down the road. So it's a 10 minute walk from the car train station. Um, prefer the room layout. It's a really quaint little place. Massively confusing. It's like it's got like 92,000 little passages that you have to go through to get to your room. And it's just, I was gonna catch up on some work quick and then I'm gonna pop out to Santon to find some dinner. <laughs> 